Hi, I'm Randy from Brzezinski Racing Products. And if you're anything like me when it comes uh, to flow testing or anything out in the shop, we're looking for, th for three things. We're looking for something that's simple, something that's quick, and something that's uh, accurate and uh, repeatable. So I'd like to show you today what uh, our flow bench uh, equipment uh, will do for you as far as saving you time and uh, a nice simple procedure that's going to increase the accuracy of your flow testing. This is our one of our part number uh, 1609 flow test stands and this is one of our uh, uh, replaceable cylinders and this is a 4155 cylinder and to put a different cylinder in and change the bore size for different applications it's this simple. You just put it in, you snap it down and you're basically ready to flow test. Um, this is one of our sliders. This is a combination small block Chevrolet LS1 slider. It has a dowel pin holes in it to locate the head accurately and quickly. And the slider just fits on the flow stand like so. So with, with the slider on the, the flow stand, it locates via these dowel pin holes. And to move to the next cylinder, you simply move your dowel pin down and bump the slider up against the next dowel pin and you're ready to go from number uh, four cylinder to number two cylinder. And it's that quick, that easy, and that accurate to move from one cylinder to the next. Now, let's say you want to flow test a big block Chevrolet. Big block Chevrolet would be very, very simple to convert over to. The first thing we want to do is to, is to change the bore. We take the 4155 bore out. Let's say you're flow testing with a 4625 bore big block. You put your 4625 bore big block cylinder in it. And now with the, the slider, big black Chevrolet 4.625 bore slider, we have dowel locating holes on the flow stand for big black Chevy also. Goes on the same way. There's a couple of slider fastener kit uh, items here that will screw on like so that tighten the slider to the flow stand. One on the front, one on the back. So when I move from this cylinder to the next cylinder, I simply loosen those up, slide the, slide the slider down, move the dowel pin, bump the slider against the dowel pin, fasten my slider fastener kit, and boom, I'm ready to flow test. And what we have here now is a complete Chevrolet bow tie cylinder head mounted on the slider and on our flow stand with our universal valve opening bar and our radius only guide. So this is how easy it is once the head is on there and you want to go from one cylinder to the next. We simply take the dowel pin out, loosen our slider fastener kit, we move it down to the next dowel pin hole, bump it up against the next dowel pin hole, tighten the fastener kit, Take the universal valve opening bar, slide it down to the next intake valve. Now all I have to do is move my flow guide down and boom, I'm flow testing. 10-15 seconds maximum amount of time you're moving from one cylinder to the next. Simply, quickly, and accurately you can increase the number of cylinder heads you flow test, increase your knowledge base, make better race car motors.